everybody, welcome back to my channel, thank you so much for watching as always. Today I'm going to be filming a haul video and sharing some of the bits that I've bought kind of from the beginning of September until now basically. Um, it's a real nice mix of stuff today, some fashion, some home, a beauty thing here and there, so yes, let's get going. So the first thing I'm going to show you is something I got yesterday which I'm really 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 excited about and that is a new phone. Woo! Um, this is the iPhone 6S Plus, so it's really, really huge. Before I had the iPhone 5S, I think, um, so this does feel massive in comparison, um, but I think it's just going to be a case of getting used to it. The reason I went for such a big screen was because it's so good to edit photos off, I spent a whole life on Instagram basically, so it's really um, visually better for stuff like that and yeah so far I'm absolutely loving it so yeah not so much to say about it really I got the gold one not the rose gold because I didn't really like it It was a bit more pink than rose gold so just went for the gold one and yeah it does this really cool thing wait let me show you so it does this really really cool thing on the wallpaper if you hold your finger down it moves can you see that and when you let go it moves back and that's so cool so entertaining um so yeah that's my favorite thing about it so far <laughs> okay so next is something which doesn't particularly feel that new anymore because i got it at the beginning of september um, and i'm sure you'll have seen it like on my blog my instagram because i've been wearing it non-stop but i just really wanted to feature it in this video because i love it so so, so much and it is this gray coat from h m it's kind of almost like a tweed texture um, it's got a belt around the waist, um, lapels that sit closed if that makes sense rather than fall open. So this was um, £50 which I suppose is quite a lot for H&M but I don't think that's that bad for a coat. And it's really really good quality, it's really warm and I've just been wearing it non-stop because it's a really good coat for this time of year. Like it's not so heavy, with it being shorter it's easy to just throw on. So I have literally been wearing this like almost every single day okay so the next item was is an item that was the focus of my last video so you guys have probably already seen them and, and i'll make sure to link that video like somewhere around here on the screen um so that you can see how i styled them up but it wasn't a talky video it was a lookbook video and i just wanted to be able to talk about them a little bit and these are some amazing boots from a new boutique shoe brand called ted and muffy and just look I mean it's huge, you can't, can't keep me and the box in the screen, but look at how amazing this box is. Like, I really want to colour it in. It's just, it's gorgeous, I'm so impressed with the packaging, it feels really luxurious and everything like that. Um, Ted and Muffy are kind of like the perfect boot brand for me because they do tailor made ones, so you give them the measurements of your legs, which is fab for me because I've got really really thin legs and really knobbly knees. So I find it really hard to get over the knee boots that actually stay up on my legs and constantly pulling up, which are really uncomfortable. So these don't do that, which is perfect. Um, and yeah, they're these suede over the knee boots. Um, they've got like a tie at the back and, and a kind of, yeah, like a string running through the top of them so you can tighten them up over your knee. Um, a really good size heel. I think the heel's about nine and a half, ten centimetres, which is the perfect height for me to walk in, it feels nice and high but still walkable. So yeah this suede is just really 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 nice suede too so it's going to wear really well, it's going to soften in really good. Um, yeah I just wanted to give those an extra little mention but as I said I'll make sure to link that video so if you want to see how I styled them you can do. So the next thing is another pair of shoes and I am like I'm just going to go there and make the statement that these are the favourite pair of boots I've ever 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 owned. And they are these gorgeous specimens from Dear Francis. And um, this particular style is called the Spirit Boot, and it's in a burgundy colour. Um, they also come in all black, but I like the burgundy because the heel is black and it has like a, a black panel of leather along the bottom, so I liked the contrast. This heel height is 85 millimetres, which is like the perfect everyday heel height. I can walk in these babies all day long, no problem, super comfortable. They come to a really good height on your leg. Um, this kind of height of boots really in this season as well, like the whole sock boot vibe. Um, is like a big thing, so they're perfectly on trend too. But not so on trend that they're going to ever, ever, ever date. They're like perfectly timeless. So 
I have been loving these so, so much. And yeah, as always from Dear Francis Shoes, they're beautifully made and everything like that. And the attention to detail is just incredible. So cannot recommend these boots enough. As I said, they also come in black. I'll link both options in the description bar below. Okay, so I've got three more clothing items to show you, which are all from Massimo Duty, which is how I believe you pronounce it, um, which is part of like the whole Zara Utaque group and stuff. And it's not a website I would normally look on, but they have some really, really nice stuff in it at the moment. So the first thing I got from there is a pair of trousers. Now I am like a serial denim wearer. Just wear jeans every single day. I'm always trying to not wear them so often because it gets a little bit repetitive. And trousers like this are the perfect alternative trouser. These are just suit pants with a light grey check running through them. They're straight leg, kind of above the ankle kind of length. They're really, really, really flattering. They have an elasticated waistband, which normally I would avoid in a suit pant because I think it dulls down how smart they are and often affects the tailoring of them. But this isn't the case for these ones at all. I think because it has a normal, it's not like they're elasticated all the way around. You can get those ones that you just pull up rather than fasten up because it has the front fastening and it keeps the them looking smart overall. So actually the elasticated waistband just makes them even comfier. And um, they're woolen, I think they feel very woolen. Yeah, 100% wool, which is really good. Next thing I have is actually inside out, but you can still tell what it looks like. And it is this stripy turtleneck, as always, turtlenecks. Um, yeah, white and navy blue, nice long skinny sleeves. I got this in a size up so that it wasn't super, super skinny fitting and it fits perfectly. And yeah, I thought it was a kind of a nice way to add a little bit of print and almost colour, like navy as kind of colour, into my turtleneck collection, my very vast turtleneck collection. And it's just, again, a really good, easy, casual piece. I've worn this like three times since I got it as well, just been throwing it on every day. And it looks great with just a blazer over the top too. So, loving this one. So the final thing I'm gonna show you from there, I do have some other bits which will appear on the blog like over the next few weeks, but these three are my favorite pieces. And this was my absolute favorite piece, which is this incredibly amazing full length wool coat. Um, I can't show you it like on this screen like this, so but I'll put in a clip of me wearing it because it's just so, so, so long, but it's so flattering. Like it's got really big lapels, which are always really flattering. Um, a, what's it called, tie around the waist. Now I usually wear my coats undone, so I wouldn't necessarily do it up, but it actually looked really good done up too. It fits absolutely gorgeously. Now I am a size eight generally. I always get a size 10 in coats because I always like to have a little bit of breathing room to layer thick jumpers and stuff. And this is a small fitting 10. So if you wanted it to be oversized, I would suggest even going two sizes up. This kind of fits me perfectly with a skinny top underneath. Um, so an eight would have been definitely too small. So just bear that in mind if you're interested in going and ordering it. And I wore it yesterday to Ikea just with an all black outfit and some white trainers. And I felt so good. You know when you have an outfit on and you feel like, yes, this is actually want to wear this every single day. It makes me feel really good and I feel really stylish. It was one of those and it was pretty much all down to this amazing coat. So we only have one beauty item to show you this time around and it is this hand wash from Aesop. Now it is, before I say anything about it, it's so overpriced for soap, which is what it is. I think this, yeah, this was £27. And I mean, you do get a lot, but there's no way around that, like £27 for soap is very expensive. So, I now have to like justify why I went and spent £27 on some soap and it's just the best soap ever basically. So I first found this in a restaurant um, in Leeds and it's like a really fresh smell but the best thing about it is that it has tiny little exfoliating beads in it so when you wash your hands especially in winter when they're dry hands just feel amazing afterwards and yeah, I'd used it in this restaurant and thought, oh my gosh, this is like, it's not often you use a hand soap, which is really memorable. Like they're not something that really affects your day to day life that often, but this one was changed my day, definitely. So I made a note of what it was and picked this up in Liberties in London for Harry and I to have in Manchester. But yeah, as I said, I mean, I hope it's gonna last a long time at 27 pounds. I'm sure it will, cause it's quite a lot, but it needs to for 27 pounds. Um, but sadly, I think it's going to be one of those things that I have to repurchase because it's just so, so, so good. And the smell is amazing. 
Um, they do do other scents of ones as well, but this is the only one that has the exfoliating beads in, which is what sold me to this. The next up is some stuff that I picked up yesterday from HomeSense. Ooh. Um, I'm sure you all do know what HomeSense is, because I'm pretty sure they have them around the country, but just in case you don't, it is a shop dedicated to the home section of TK Maxx. You know, all TK Maxx's have like a homeware bit, which is always so bloody good. This shop is just homeware and it's so, so, so good. It's good for like one-off bits of furniture. They sell everything. I'm not going to list it because you think of some kind of a homeware thing, then they sell it basically. And yeah, I went in yesterday, picked up some stuff. It's already reasonably priced as well, which is of course very good. Posted. Okay, so the post he just interrupted me, but I'm not complaining because he's just delivered something which I really want to be able to include in this haul. Um, and it's from made.com, like it's lamps. Like a lamp is in this. So I think that I'm gonna have to go off now and build it in order to show you what it is. And I've got two, so be right back. injured myself in the process so much cardboard that was so well packed up um but to build it was relatively simple just a little bit fiddly and yeah i'll show you what it is it's called oh nearly hit myself um it's called the starky lamp and it definitely is very stark it also it comes in a few different colors it comes in like a painted blue and orange and it also came in black with brass hardware and i don't know whether i would have liked that one more because I like it, but I'm not like, oh wow. But the thing is, which I'm a bit annoyed about, they show in the showroom and online they have it with one, you know those like big vintagey looking bulbs with the big filaments in and that kind of a yellowy bulb? It had a big one of those in, in the showroom and I assumed it would come with a bulb like that because it's kind of the bulb that is the statement of it. Um, so without a bulb in it looks a bit weird, so I'm going to have to now order some of those big fancy ones and um, but yeah I got it as a bedside lamp I liked how I do like how simple it is but I'm not wild about it really I don't know whether the black and brass one would have been better so I'll have to see what it looks like once I've got it in the house and this doesn't really look like it's nice but it's not like really nice do you agree it's not wow is what I'm feeling not wow which one was I where was I up to before I got distracted by those lamps. Home sense. So, home sense. So I popped in yesterday for two things. The first two things I got were both candles. Oh, flipping it! Nearly broke it. And um, this one is by a brand called Makers of Wax Goods. Never heard of them before. Um, which is the case of lots of stuff in home sense. Think I've never heard of it before. But I'm just going to go for it. This was ten pounds, which isn't bad for such a big candle. Comes with a nice wood effect lid which is actually ceramic because it's very heavy and um, this fragrance is tobacco and oak which is definitely not going to be everybody's cup of tea i like fragrances which are smoky musky heavy kind of scents which probably aren't people's favorites most of the time um, but yeah this one is my kind of smell really i'm not going to try and explain it because it's really hard to explain the smell it smells like tobacco and oak. The second candle I got was a little more expensive and was from a brand I had heard of, which is This Works. And um, this candle was £13. Apparently it should normally be £25. If that's true, definitely got myself a bit of a bargain. Um, the fragrance is Lavender and Roman Chamomile Candle. And this is like a sleepy fragrance. It smells so good. So it's just a lovely, sleepy, relaxing, calm smell. Um, definitely like one to burn in a bedroom or something and yeah so the final thing I'm going to share with you today is also the final thing that I bought from HomeSense and it is this big 
cushion and um, this was £25 they did have two but I didn't want to spend £50 on cushions yesterday I just did not feel like spending that much money on cushions £25 felt much more doable and um, it's kind of got like tassels down the side I don't know what it's like a hessian kind of a texture it's definitely not cuddly or cozy it's quite a rough texture but I just really liked the pattern of it it's quite neutral it's nice and big so it'll look good on a sofa and won't need many other cushions to go with it that's everything from me today I hope you've enjoyed it it's been like a little bit of a mix of stuff um as you know I love filming a good haul so I very much enjoyed sharing it all with you um I feel like I needn't say it, but as always, links in the description box below. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you don't already, all the usual. And thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you next week in my next video.